Hey, what's going on, you guys? This is Madam, and I'm coming back to you once again. This time, I'm going to go over to CNBC, Make It, and this is about startups. Uh, it says this 26-year-old college dropout, Cloven Line, brings in about 27000 a month, and NBA players wear his designs. The article is by Megan Sawyer, and it says before his street where brand Brown Mill took off Jason Pitts Goodson design sold and sold his own bow ties in his middle school to his middle school peers. In high school, Pitts Goodson and two friends built the idea for streetwear brand. He dropped out of college after two years to pursue his business full time. About half a decade later, he's the co-founder, creator, director, and CEO of Newark, New Jersey's based Brown Mill. The company attracts NBA players as customers and brought in about $327,000 in revenue last year, according to the documents reviewed by CNBC Make It. From the early age, I've always been like a hustler. An entrepreneur, Pitt Goodson, age 26, 12, tells CNBC, make it. I don't know where I got it from. My mom says I got it from my father, who was also an entrepreneur. So maybe it's, it's something that's genetic. Current and former NBA stars like Dwayne Wade, Carmelo Anthony, and Andre I. Um, I abbreviated it because I did not want to butcher in his name. And I will do that for every name that I have having an issue with. Uh, my apologies up front. Having given Brown Mill National Street Cred, the brand's Think Bigger mantra and its upcycle patchwork clothing are all over Instagram in major city in the major cities. But the brand didn't skyrocket to success overnight when Pitt Goodson first tried to pursue Brown Mill, a full-time job. He unexpectedly had to pivot to support his family instead. By 2020, the company was still bringing in less than six figures per year. Here's how Pitt Goodson and his partners eventually grew Brown Mill into a household name. A childhood dream. When Pitts Goodson took back on, uh, excuse me, looks back on his first bow tie, he says he can't believe he was able to sell the crooked seamed designs. But the experience gave him the confidence to pursue his dream of designing clothes. Okay. And this is a picture of him when he was in high school, I believe. It says, after befriending his two future business partners, Tahar S. and uh, K.A. in high school, Pitts Goodson studied business management at Rutgers University, New York. He took internships with stylists and fashion brands in New York while juggling classes. Uh, the interning with stylists, so I'm learning... I'm interning with stylists, so I'm learning different parts of every piece of the business of fashion, Pitt Goodson said. I think all of that mixed with going to business school at the same time really helped me shape an idea and gave me a vision of for what I wanted the company to look like. After two years, Pitt Goodson dropped out. He figured since he already knew he wanted to grow his clothing line, his time would be better spent doing exactly that. But shortly after he dropped out of Rutgers, his mom was diagnosed with stage 4 breast cancer, and his then-girlfriend found out she was pregnant with their son. To keep things afloat, he took a job, a copywriting job at Luxury Consignment Company, the real real, for $17.50 per an hour. He was fired after less than a year. It was a job that was more about production and pace rather than quality of work, Pick Goodson said. I felt like a machine. I had a big quota every day, and I would ultimately have no time to think about what I was doing. I knew it wasn't serving me, it wasn't serving my spirit, and before I could quit, they fired me. Eyes on the prize. Without a full-time job and with unexpected caregiving demands, Pitt Goodson started running Brown Mill from his family's home in uh, Piscataway, New Jersey. 
He and his partners grew the brand by promoting its online store and local pop-up events until March of 2020, when the COVID pandemic shut, uh, began shutting down in-person gatherings, pushing to open a brick-and-mortar location. The co-founders raised money through crowdsourcing, subscriptions, packages, uh, and outdoor social uh, socially distanced pop-ups. The subscription model was a product of the co-founder audience uh, analyst and his need to generate income. He said he noticed returning customers buying about 12 items across the site every year, so Brown Bill responded by offering tier, tiers of bundled clothing ranging from $200 to $1,000 per year in cost. Customers still spent roughly the same amount in the total. A subscription gives people monthly credits to spend on the site, but Brown Mill gets the money up front and uses it to on new machinery to help scale the company, Pitt Goodson explained. The brand brought $86,000 in in 2020, enabling the founders to put down $7, a $7,000 deposit on a newer storefront that opened in June of 2021. They closed the location due to New York New York's district shopping culture, which Pitt Goodson discovered while working at a nearby sneaker store in college, he said. That was an eye-opening experience because I didn't know how much my people, black people, shop for shoes, Pitt Goodson said. I recognized a shopping culture in New York that I didn't appreciate yet. Uh, New York is also a popular non-Hollywood location for film sets and stylists often cycle in and out of Brown Bill, Brown Bill Mill looking for unique pieces of clothing, Pitt Goodson says. That's how, uh, that's how kind of a Gabrielle Union Dwayne Wade thing happened, he said, noting that the three-time NBA champion posed for a photo in Brown Bell's Think Big line in July of 2021. The stylist came in and brought a whole bunch of items, and ultimately Dwayne Wade liked them and started rocking them. Nice. That's what's up. The art and reward of over-preparing. Pitt Goodson said he didn't hold himself to a minute-by-minute routine. He does not like to over-prepare. He arrives at Brown's Mills storefront every day at 8.30 a.m. to and two and a half hours before the storefront opens to work on clothing alterations, plan the next collection, and coordinate communications among the Brown's Mill team. This year, the company is on track to reach a million in sales. Pitt Goodson says in 2023, he hopes to reach two million in annual revenue by getting brown mill into traditional retail stores he says on the next five years he wants to open up two more storefronts in growing black communities like Atlanta and Los Angeles or uh, Accra Ghana he's cautious about over expanding he adds we don't want to grow to be too big because then will lose a quality control or a level of coolness. Locally, Browns Mill sponsor community basketball games in an urban garden in Newark. And Pitts Goodson says he wants to be seen as an example of entrepreneurial success in his neighborhood. You know, we were young people that started a business and now have a store, he says. I think there's a lot of young people here in New York that make that may have the uh, same aspirations, but not have a reference point. I want to be able to give a lot of New Yorkans uh, insight to what is possible. Okay. That's what's up. And that is the end of the uh, article right there. Um, a 
was a very good inspiring story um i thought it was interesting being as though uh, a lot of things hit him kind of at once but yet he was still able to pursue his dreams and his goals and it has taken him um pretty far and you know he is doing it uh, excellence at his best um you know, just to have a dream and a vision and a goal. Uh, I mean, it was apparent even through, you know, uh, middle school, high school. This is what he wanted to do. And it was always in the back of his mind. And he never forgot about it. And he went back and he actually uh, made good on it. Now he has a company that's on track to make a million dollars, which is good. And hopefully by the next year in 2023, two million. And then, you know, sky's the limit. Uh, I believe this young man has the potential to do great things, him and his partners, business partners. And um, I look forward to seeing what he has, what they have um, to offer in the years to come, basically. So um, congratulations to them, all of them. Um, I'm glad it worked out for them. And I would like to know how you feel about this story. So please meet me in the comments and talk to me. Uh, let me know how you feel about this story or any other story that I may have done on my channel. Um, I apologize for abbreviating the names, but if I have a hard time pronouncing them, that's what I that's what I will do. I've always done that, so uh, hey, it is what it is. But. I will see you guys in the next video.